Dublin Metro Underground Construction The purpose of this video is to demonstrate in under 3 minutes the construction of the underground sections of the proposed Dublin Metro Link. The tunnel design will be, twin tracks, single tunnel. A tunnel boring machine will bore and line the tunnels with precast concrete wall panels. The tunnel boring machines progress at a rate of 20 meters per day, working 24 hours per day. The tunnel boring machine is 150 meters long, 9 meters in diameter, and takes 5 months to assemble on site. One tunnel boring machine will be used, starting north of the airport. The tunnel precast concrete segments are delivered by road and lifted into the underground station or shaft and carted through the tunnel under construction to the back of the tunnel boring machine. The tunnel boring machine also known as a TBM is used to excavate and place the concrete precast curved tunnel wall segments that form the tunnel wall. The tunnel boring machine pushes itself forward by jacking off the placed wall segments as the head rotates and digs the tunnel. The stations are fitted with escalators, lifts, ticket kiosks, ticket barriers and shops. The underground stations will be constructed using diaphragm walls or secant walls. After the walls are constructed the earth inside will be excavated and carted off-site by dumper trucks. Ground conditions. The geology along the tunnel routes. The bedrock is between 5 and 25 meters below the ground level. The overlying deposits are generally boulder clay with thin layers of sand and gravel. The rock is limestone and mudstone, along the tunnel route. The tunnels will be in rock to avoid ground loss and settlement. Video clip shows, what to expect when traveling by metro. When the tunneling is finished the tracks, cabling and pipe work is installed, followed by commissioning to ensure the trains run safely and efficiently and all the systems operate as per design photographs of other metros